Okay, in this data set, which I already have loaded, it's called my data. We have two variables, score and review. If you ever forget what the names of your data set are, and you have listed over here the data is called my data, you can always go to your console, which I have on the top, you might have on the bottom if you haven't changed it, but that's up to you. And just do names and the name of the data set, and then just hit enter. And there you have it. The names of the two variables are score and review. And what these are are exams, exam scores for students who either did or did not attend a review session. And so anyway, those are the two variables. What I want to show you how to do is a density plot. Now we're just going to plot the density for score. And that's plot, open parenthesis, density, open parenthesis, score, and then close both of them. So we're going to plot the density of the variable score. And it'll look like that. This is not really, I don't think it's in the text we're using this semester. It's starting to become preferred to uh, histograms because you're not dependent on any, uh, about the bandwidth of a histogram. So this is just sort of an averaged over, smoothed out histogram for scores. And you can see that the center's about here and you can see sort of a bell curve for a lot of it, but then skewed off to the left here. Anyway, that is a density plot. Now, I'm gonna, now what I want to do is to make a density plot, but I want to have it for, I want to have two plots in here, one for people who attended the review session and a second for people who did not. That's not in the default package of R, but it's in a package called SM. And to install a package, I already have it on mine, but you probably will have to do this. Go to Packages and Install and just type the name of the package that you want to get. And we're just SM, so you would click that and then just install. Mine's already installed, so I won't do it, but it'll install that package. Once you do that, that package will be on your computer. If, if you're doing it on your computer, you won't have to do this a second of time, but it's in there. But since it's not a base package, you do will, every time you want to do this, have to either write library, SM, which is the name of the package, or the word require will work there as well. To be honest with you, I'm not too sure what the difference between them. I've used both and they both work. But anyway, you do have to load that library. And so I've got that in there. And the command is sm.density.compare, and then in parentheses, score, which is the variable, my response variable, my quantitative variable, and review is the, uh, the grouping variable or explanatory variable. So I'm going to do that one now. And you'll see now I have a plot that has two lines, one dashed green for one group and then one dark red for the other. What I've done in this last part here is the same command, but so I still have that small dense to compare, score review, but now I have colors. I'm going to change the colors to dark blue and light green. And that LWD um, equals 3 will change the line width. It's going to make, have lines that are quite a bit thicker than the ones that are on there now. And then LTY just tells it whether to use dashed or solid or, or, or whatever. And Probably, and, and the default does this too, but one of the things you should be concerned, especially if these were the colors that you had, quite a few uh, people, especially males, who have red-green color blindness. And so by adding the dash, people who are colorblind can still tell one graph from, uh, from the other. So anyway, then I'll, I'll go ahead and just put that on there. And you can see I do have thicker lines with different kinds of, uh, of, of dashes there. I'm going to go on now and show you how to add text to your line here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say text at x equal 52, so it's going to go over to 52, and 02, so it's going to come up somewhere up here, and I'm going to have it write no review, because this is the group that has no, that did not attend the review. So after I already have the graph, I can write text, x coordinate, Y co coordinate, and in parentheses, whatever I want it to say. And there that is. And then the same thing for the next one. And then I'm going to add a title here. 
And one way to add titles is to, after you have the graph, put title main equals, and then you, you have that. And so there is a density plot, a comparative density plot uh, that you can use.